Oh, hey, wasn't expecting you guys. While you're here, I'll tell you a little story though. A little while ago, I picked myself up a 1982 Honda XL500 for 400 bucks. One of the best deals I ever got on Craigslist. The previous owner said he's selling it so cheap because he cleaned and rebuilt the carburetor, but he just can't get it running right. So he wanted to sell it to somebody who might have a better shot at fixing it. It needed a little bit of work, obviously. So I did a video where I rebuilt the carburetor and tinkered with it. And I had a little bit of fun. I'm pretty happy with the bike. But I never actually told you guys the whole story. There was one mistake that the previous owner made, the whole reason he sold it so cheap. And when I figured it out, it was quite a shocker. When I test rode the bike, it idled fine, but whenever you got anywhere near the throttle, it would just backfire and try to die instantly. So it was acting like it was starving for fuel. My first indication would be to check the carburetor. So you can imagine my surprise when I tore the carburetor part and it was extremely, extremely clean. So for you to really understand what I mean by this, I gotta kind of explain how a carburetor works. The way a carburetor works is extraordinarily simple. As the engine is running, it's generating vacuum, so it's pulling air through the carburetor. There's small holes in the carburetor called jets. So as the engine is running, those jets are pulling a small amount of fuel through them, and it mixes with the air that's going into the engine. As you crack the throttle, it opens up a valve and it pulls a needle up through a jet, so it allows more air and more fuel through simultaneously. When you rebuild a carburetor, you replace these old worn out jets with new clean ones. So it made me a little nervous when I found out that these jets were clean and working properly. So that means that my fuel starvation problem isn't related to these jets. Obviously the jets weren't my problem. So before I put everything back together, I wanted to figure out something that might be causing the issue. So I was looking at the carburetor and I noticed that there was a small little rod and the linkage right above it. And when you crack the throttle, the linkage would get close, but it would never actually depress the rod. And I remember thinking, Honda engineers are not going to make something that doesn't do anything. So I tore it apart, and it turns out that's an accelerator pump. On most small engines, the carburetors work just fine. It's enough vacuum to always pull fuel through the carburetor. The problem is, is with this big engine, you have to fit a pretty big carburetor to it. So if you were to crack it full throttle, the engine's not revved up yet. So the vacuum drops to almost nothing and it's not able to pull enough fuel through. So it's gonna backfire and it's gonna die. So with this carburetor, they fitted it with an accelerator pump. And what the accelerator pump does is when you crack the throttle, it physically depresses the plunger inside a bowl of fuel. And that bowl of fuel goes directly to a jet in the carburetor. So when you crack that throttle, it's literally spraying fuel into the carburetor. Now, one of the problems with this particular design is it's pretty easy to accidentally take the spring and put it on the wrong side of the plunger. So that way, when you crack the throttle, the plunger's always all the way down and it never actually makes contact with the linkage, which is exactly what the previous owner did. Way to go. Rule number one when you're working on stuff, take pictures and put it back together the way it came apart. Now, I'm not mad at the guy. Obviously, it's a really good deal and I feel bad for him, but it was a really simple mistake and he did a really good job with everything else. He just didn't do that. So when I was test riding it, it would idle okay and it makes enough torque to where you can ride it without giving it a throttle. But if you touch that throttle, it would backfire and just almost instantly die just ran like crap because it needs that accelerator pump to keep the engine running. So simple mistake, cost the guy dearly because this bike, see him for 1500 bucks all the time without a title. And this one has a title. So 400 bucks was a really good deal for me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks always for doing your part to help make this world a strange place. Here at Strange Garage, some of the content that I do is tutorials. <laughs> But most of it is just random projects that I have going on in my garage. A lot of the stuff is pretty impractical. A lot of the stuff is pretty obnoxious. Yeah. I just call all of it strange. I have a pretty good time doing what I do, and I like sharing my projects with the YouTube community. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I try to respond to as many people as I can. And as always, thanks for doing your part to help make this world a strange place.